Okay. Okay, Morton, the next question for you is, uh, it's about low back pain. This comes from someone called Sue Abraham. Uh, when you have chronic back pain, why do you get spasms intermittently and with no obvious cause? <laughs> uh, uh, the model that I would apply to answer that, Sue, wherever you are, wherever, where, is that where we're going? Wherever you are. Uh, I would apply the same model if I replace that. If I change that question to when you have chronic back pain, why do you get back pain intermittently and with no obvious cause? Uh, and I'd see muscle spasms as, a, as another protective output uh, that can be, that, that reflect uh, uh, an output of the brain and to some extent an output of the spinal cord, the ventral horn of the spinal cord, that will occur if the sum total of all influences on, on the output systems suggests you should, for example, stop movement at that location as a protective output. So I would see a spasm as a protective output that is incredibly effective to stop movement. Uh, does that make sense? So I would, and with no obvious cause, that's fine for me. Uh, most causes are not obvious, and and I I do think it's almost like resonance. You know, a lot of a lot of little contributors can resonate neurophysiologically to create a, a sufficient trigger to set off the protective output. Yeah. Are you, do you think Sue would be satisfied with that? I do think she will. Okay. Cool.